Uh, the first, uh, first one's called management. And anybody who's ever been harassed by your landlord knows exactly what it's like to... Anyway. Uh -huh. They're, they were the feral kind. No ordinary con men, highwaymen, or small-time crooks, or any self-respecting junkies would have anything to do with them, much less trust them. They were bred by the landlords for the long purpose of clearing out their buildings. Those, um, there were no depths of depravity that they wouldn't crawl. Those, who floor, those whose floorboards split in two could look down and see the eyes of this staff looking back up at them in cockroach skin suits. The only thing colder than their black and loveless eyes were the endless winters in their hearts, where all humanity was frozen in time, like an extinct species, and their souls would forever serve sentences in unknown prisons of their own making. And the next piece is, it stands alone, but uh, it's also eventually gonna wind up in the uh, novel as well. It's called Land of the Cheated. It occurred to Sam that all the clocks on all the business walls no longer kept track of the minutes or even the hours of each day. Instead, they measured the drudgery of the grocery cashier and the convenience store clerk alike. What ticked away on those clocks was no longer time, but the overtime hours robbed from them, uh, I'm sorry, robbed from each worker by each manager. But despite their position, both clerk and boss knew that they would forever live in shut-in hours where all fantasies were teenage dreams of something better and had been replaced by the reality that years no longer mattered in the land of the cheated. One always, uh, one always flowered into another, and they all, and they all seemed the same somehow. Even in the, even those who lived in the moments of being stoned on weed or pills could escape this plane for so long but would always come crashing down back to the yearless land. Those who knew how to navigate through these waters like so many fish in a clear glass bowl always moved with the instinct of survival but with no will to live. The embrace of Prozac took care of that uh, I'm sorry, took care of that long ago. Thank you. <laughs>